Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about manual J and S calculation for condominiums part 11. All right, so let's get into it. So at this point, everything is kind of completed or halfway. So we took care of the internal loads, the envelope, we added windows. And now what we have to do is, this is the one of the second most important parts, which is going to be the equipment selection. All right. But before doing that, let's continue with filling out some information. So if we want to do that, we go here where it says project information. And in here, we're gonna be able to put our information, all right? So what do we have in here? So your client, that's gonna be your customer's name. We're gonna put John Smith as usual, all right? Uh, John Smith, there we go. Company with, so that's personal owner. We're gonna put in here, say, this is a project in Fairfax, mm, State, Virginia. There we go, Fairfax. And now we're gonna go here to zip code. We can put two, two, one, two, four. And then contractor's name. Yeah, you can put, uh, let's put in here Addison Salazar, for example. And then this is AJS Heating and Cooling. Con heating and Air Conditioning. LLC and then we're gonna put in here the city Lorton State Virginia and then in here we're gonna put um, AJS heatac.com there we go and now at the bottom as we know the number this part is gonna be showing in our reports on the top right corner so we're just gonna put manual JNS manual J comma S and D. There we go. Manual J S D. Okay, so which means kit load, manual J, heat load, manual S, equipment selection, and manual D, duct design based on ACA standards, okay? So now date, what is the date? We're gonna keep on maintaining July 6, 2023, okay? And then who is prepared by? So we're gonna put in here HVAC Easy Mat. There we go. Now, this is very important because what is the orientation of the front door? The front door, the front door actually is facing north. Not really. Let's go check on the room layout. On the room layout, this is my main entrance, main door, and the main door is facing, we don't know, but in order to know that, we're gonna go check in here in the, under the show under the drawings we will go to actually let's go in under view default construction number bar and actually the orientation is north upwards but the if this is north so then the main entrance is facing south right see the front door is facing south it's very very important be, be careful on this so now that we know that we can always hide this construction bar okay so we're gonna go back in here and we're gonna put instead of north we're gonna put south there we go front door faces south and now in here you can put any note that you want okay so this is gonna be i'm gonna put another note in here just in case. so the equipment is gonna be actually a heat pump and in the inside is going to be an air handler so you have two options either ac with a furnace or a heat pump okay so this system is going to be a heat pump okay heat pump slash air handler okay so now this is one of the most important parts because you need to find out what equipment are you going to put on your condo because there are so many manufacturers you have train you have daikin you have goodman rim 
Linux. So we need to find out which one. So as of now, we have the, our project information taken care of. We have our outdoor conditions. We're just reviewing before doing the selection. And now we're going to go here to the next part, which is the multi-zone. In the multi-zone, we have everything only one system. And if, we, if I have two systems, here is where we add another system right here at zone, right? Okay, multi-zone tree all taken care of. What is this zone information? We took care of this already. Indoor conditions, system characteristics, ventilation. And then we have our preliminary tonnage or sizing. This is my size, which is 1.8 tons. So we can put a two ton unit nominal capacity, two ton, right? Okay, so now we're going here, see? In here is where you select your system. And then your system type, as of now, it says non, non. So for cooling, we don't have a split AC. We're going to have a split a air source HP heat pump, right? We're going to select that. In an, And in this case, automatically, it's going to show me that the supplemental heating is going to be electric. But in case you have the supplemental heating furnace, then that becomes a dual fuel system, right? It's a little, a little bit more complicated. So in this case, we're gonna put heat pump and then supplemental heat electric, fuel electricity. It's, this is by default, right? And then we hit apply. And then when you go to the split air source heat pump, you're gonna be able to find, uh, see in here, we're gonna put heating equals cooling. And then you're gonna be able to find in here your target CFM, okay? So in order to do that, you can always change this number when you press F8. See in here F8, you hide it, you, you highlight it, and then you hit apply. See, F8, this is the default target CFM for my building based on the 1.8 ton unit. You need at least 569 CFM. But you might be wondering, but wait a minute, Roberto. What you you said you're gonna put a two ton unit, two ton, and you have 400 CFM per ton, so you would need an 800 CFM in here, and that is correct. So this is the target CFM, and then later once we select the system, we're gonna convert this target CFM into a design CFM. Okay, with the design CFM, we're going to do the uh, duct sizing. Okay, so now that we have everything almost taken care of, guess what? We need to select the manufacturer, okay? So how are we gonna select the manufacturer? There are so many. In order to do that, we're gonna go here, select equipment. Under select equipment, we're gonna have a, a right soft has a database. See, based on what the type of manufacturer. For example, if you want a MENA, see what is in red, you have the database. What is not in red, you don't have the info. See, air temp products, you don't have anything. But when it's in red, actually, oh, not really. But usually it is. A MENA, for example, you click in it, nothing. What's going on? Let's see. Select equipment, and then you go here in a MENA, for example. A MENA. There you go. Nothing. Ah, nothing because you have already in here pre filled information. So in a main, uh, say you put all, and then let's see what happens. There we go. You have all the information in here. What about air quest? There we go. You have it. And then air is, you have it too. Oh, that's excellent. I mean, that's perfect. Okay. So now we're going to select that in here, the type of equipment. But we, uh, but stick with me because we're gonna do that in the next video actually because this is has this has to be very very specific because I'm gonna show you in the next video what type of manufacturers or which links you have to click on all right I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit the like button and subscribe all right thanks so much